Hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Today we are going to talk about the logic of the Muhammadan versus the logic of Allah. You know, first supposedly Allah is the God of the Muhammadan, and Allah He learned from Imam Murra how to be stupid, and the Muslims they learn from Imam Murra how to be stupid too. And obviously Muhammad himself he learned from Imam Murra how to be an idiot. So today we are going to give you an you know, a great example about how to be an idiot prophet. How to be? Because this is needed some skills. You cannot be just a prophet and an idiot at the same time unless you are really skilled. You see, the God of Islam is he's something. But there is no question that the God of Islam is not Allah, it's Muhammad. And Muhammad is something for sure, way more than Allah. If we go in the Quran, you will see the following. It says, chapter 1, verse 116. It says, chapter what? Chapter 4, verse 116. For those who keep sending me emails asking me for reference, all my reference and my videos, if you like, you know, if you are lazy, this is your business. If you like to get more reference, you can get my books. Otherwise, all I say, whatever I say, I teach is in my videos. So why you keep asking me for reference? And if you have a question, you, ask, you can ask me when I am live on air. Allah, he forgive not sin, which is including joining somebody uh, with him, which means worshiping someone beside Allah, beside him, not alone. I mean, like, let us say you worship Allah, but you worship somebody else with him. Allah will not forgive you that. Okay. But he forgive all kind of sin, except that sin. All right. Then we go, we find Muhammad, he come with a different story. Muhammad claimed that when you go in the grave, okay, well, here we go, I became a Muslim now, and Allah forgive all sin except the one which is associating with him. Okay, so I worship Allah, which Aka Muhammad, and now I'm a Muslim. So why Allah want to punish me in the grave because of urine? Here we see that this logic is a stupid logic. So Allah will forgive you if you do fornication. Allah will forgive you if you do child molestation. Actually, uh, Allah, he encouraged you to do that. Muhammad himself is the best example. Allah will forgive you if you steal. Allah will forgive you if you kill. Allah will forgive you if you rape. Allah will forgive you if you lie. Allah will forgive you for everything except one thing, if you worship someone beside him. But look, we found that your piss is a problem. Urination is the main cause of the punishment of the grave. What is the main cause? Like Muhammad is not saying rape, no. He is not saying killing, no. He is not saying stealing, no. Guys, do you hear me? Is my voice good? Why somebody saying is there any voice? My voice is good, right? So his problem is urine. Hmm. Now think about it. It really makes a lot of sense. You rape a woman. Allah forgive you. Okay. You kill somebody, Allah forgive you. You rape a child, Allah forgive you. But this is you. This is you, my friend. Hmm? This is you. And now, excuse me, you are going to piss. And piss touch your feet or your leg. Allah now is aggravated. We 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 we. This is the this is the car of Allah. Okay, Allah is coming now. Like you, you because now you did something really horrible. That's it. Allah is coming for you. Hmm? 
How dare you? And now Allah will give you a citation. He will take your number. There's a number here in your, in your private part. Hmm? He will take your number and he will write in his document up in the in the heaven that in the day of etc., in the hour of etc., in the minute of etc., you were pissing, etc. And because you were pissing, Allah will torture you in the grave. Urination is the main cause of the punishment in the grave. Now, for sure, Muhammad here is, you know, he is knowledgeable. He knew what he's talking about. And it makes sense. I mean, if you rape a woman, it's not a big deal. If you kill somebody, what a so bad. If you rape a child, eh, it's not really a problem. If you steal, eh, you know, so what? But if you piss, my friend, if you piss, Allah is going to be all over you. He will send two angels. He will send what? Two angels. And those angels, they will start torturing you in the grave. There is a process in this torture. It's not just a torture, as you think. There is two angels. One of them is called Munkar and Nakir. Now, I wish I can play for you some videos because Muslims are really hilarious. They have tons of videos about the punishment of the grave with back, back, back background music and video animation. And that guy he died and now they bury him and uh, I mean just search it in, in, in YouTube you would die laughing you will die laughing but here we have a problem what is the logic behind a punishment in the grave because of urine the first thing can come to my mind that Allah, he want the Muslim to be clean. Mm -hmm. But Muslim, they drank the urine of the Prophet Muhammad. The Prophet, I say a Prophet. You see, I respect him. A lot of respect. He's a Prophet. True Prophet, for sure. Huh? They drank his piss. Muhammad, even he ordered them to drink the piss of the camel. So now, not piss is touching you. You are drinking it literally. So what is, the, what is the logic of saying that you will be tortured in the grave and the main reason for torturing is urine? Hmm? When uh, Muhammad spoke about uh, the torture of the grave, he came with a story which I find it very authentic. It obviously, is true. Let me see if I can find the story for you in the books of Hadith. Just for the sake of education. <clears throat> This first is Sahih. This is what? This is Sahih Hadith. We went out with the Messenger of Allah, a company in the barrier of a man from Al Ansar. He's a Muslim. A Muslim, that guy, he died. So when we reached the grave, uh, you know, they, uh, Muhammad, they, okay, they buried the guy. And this Muhammad, he starts saying a story. Let us see what Muhammad will say. Uh, brother, 
Muhammad when he was there. He was seeking refuge by Allah from the punishment of the grave. And he said that twice or thrice, but usually it's thrice. Doesn't make sense twice. Muhammad is a, is a Trinity guy. What Muhammad said about that? He said that when you are in the grave, you will hear the sandals of an angel as they come to you. And those angels, they will say to you, first question, who is your Lord? Now you are dead. And the angels will ask you, who is your Lord? Hmm. I mean, think about it. So what if you are dead? You are dead now and you are going to have a quiz, an exam. Who is your Lord? Hmm? Okay. Who is your Lord? So what you will say? You say Allah, brother. The second question, what is your religion? You say Islam, brother. The third question, who is your prophet? You say Muhammad, brother. Now it is time for me to say if, 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 if. Hold on. You know what? It looks like those angels do not know who is your God and what is your religion and who is your prophet. <laughs> and now you are dead. You know, Muhammad, hold on. What if a guy, like, let us say he was a mute. I mean, all his life is a mute. And now he died. You will ask him those three questions, what he will do? He will use his fingers? What if somebody, he was burned? Burned. You know, people, some people sometimes die and they, their body get burned. You will ask who? Who's going to talk? But why you are just too much questioning, man? It's just take it as it is. So they will ask you those questions. Now, there's many versions of this hadith, as you see, but all of it is authentic anyway. They will say to him, the two angels will say, they will come to him and make him set up and ask him, hold on, set up. Okay, hold on. I cannot resist uh, using my art. So now you were dead, laying down. Hmm? This is you. And you were dead. The angels, brother, they will come to you and they will say, Set up, idiot. Hmm? Set up. Okay, so now you are like, you, you set up. And now they will start asking you the questions. They can't ask you when you are laying down. It makes sense. I mean, come on. You cannot do that. So here you see that Muhammad is very, uh, you know, scientifically accurate. May it may be the means angels ask our soul. No, Daniel, don't may say maybe. You see, this is physically. Don't don't say things without knowledge, my friend. Do you see set up? Do you see set up? The one who's saying maybe it's soul. Okay. They say they set set up. Do, do the soul set up? Hello. I like your logic, but it doesn't work. So they will say to you, sit up. And they will ask him. First question, who's your Lord? He will reply. <laughs> My Lord is Allah. <laughs> And then they will say to him, and what is your religion? He will reply, my religion is Islam. They will ask him, and what is your opinion about this man? Op <laughs> opinion? What is your opinion about this man? Who is this man? Guess what? They will not ask him about Trump. No way. 
what do you what is your opinion about this man who was sent on a mission among you he will reply <laughs> i know the answer <laughs> messenger of allah muhammad they will ask who made you aware of this <laughs> never go and be in the hand of the cia that's deep who made you aware of this hmm Ah. Ah. Hmm? who made you aware of this he reply he will reply i read a book and believed in it if, 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 if. okay hold on hold on i mean this is really garbage now where in Allah book it says that there is two angels that would ask three questions like this? You see, Muhammad he just said that he get aware of the answers from Allah book. But how he knew that those even angels? How he how he knew that they are maybe they are from different religion? <laughs> and then it's considered true. Look at this and what it is considered it's true which is verified by Allah verified by Allah how is that how Islam is verified by Allah nobody saw Allah nobody spoke to Allah not including Muhammad how 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 that was verified your God Allah don't even remember which one he created first the Sun or the mountains the stars or the grass verified by Allah okay <laughs> Allah book believed in it and consider it true which is verified by Allah word I mean how many times we need to repeat the same word man verified 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 Allah established those who believe with the word that stand firm in this world and next year right <laughs> we saw you in the morning each one of them is trying to give us different interpretation for the Quran and nobody believe in the Quran no more I mean, do you see how much is confirmed? To the point even Muslims don't agree about how long the women she will be carrying a child. Nine months, two years, three years, four years, five years, six years, seven years, eight years, nine years, ten years. And then, brother, the story is not over here. This is just a start. Get ready for what is coming. He also mentioned the death of an infidel that needs special treatment to be honest with you it's about infidel you are an infidel your spirit will be restored to your body two angels will come to you And they will make him set up. And they will ask him, Who is your Lord? He will reply, Alas, Alas, stop, please stop. Who is Alas? What? what? Who, who, who is his Lord? Alas, Alas, may Allah Alas you. What is that, man? They will say he will say to him, "Alas, alas." It doesn't say that in Arabic. It says, "Ha ha ha ha." What alas, alas? <laughs> okay, <laughs> ah ha 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 ha. His Lord is ha ha. It says here in Arabic, "Man Rabbuka fayqul ha 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 ha." <laughs> he will say, ah, ha, ha, ha. I do not know. If, 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 if. Why you do not know? <laughs> we continue. They will ask him, 
Who is your Lord? Who is your Lord? Give us his name immediately. They will say, Aha, aha. I do not know. Commercial break. If you are looking for a great funeral, we have the best service for you. We can take you to the most fancy location in the biggest strip of Las Vegas and we can bury you there in any fountain full of girls around it. Flowers, fountains, and a lot of dancing and a lot of a strip club. You will never regret. Please call us right now. One dead hundred call us. End of commercial. Aha, aha, ha 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 ha. I do not know. They will ask him, What is your religion? He will reply, Ha 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 ha. I do not know. If you lost your dog and you do not know where to find him, please call us right now. We are a great service. We can find your dog anywhere, anyhow. Just give us his description. If we could not find your dog in within 24 hours, we will replace him with a new husband and you can marry him and you can have him forever. Who need a dog after that? Okay, our service is guaranteed. Call us right now. Find your dog, dead dog, living dog. It doesn't matter. We will find him for you. Dead or alive. Thank you. End of commercial. Hmm. I do not know. I do not know. I do not know. I do not know. Hold on, the guy is infidel. He have a religion. What do you mean he don't know? The guy he have different God. How come he do not know? It doesn't make sense. Eh. Just continue the story for the sake of the story. They will ask, who was the man who was sent on a mission among you? Hey, ho, uh, hold on. Let me introduce myself. My name is John Jin Kong Lee from Bruce Lee Town. <laughs> now, Muhammad was sent to China and he was from among you? Are you sure from the question? Among you? You know what? Even among you is sound Chinese for you. Among you, among Lee, among Bruce Lee. Aha! he is from among you and who is you so a guy from germany the question will be for him a man who was sent in a mission from among you who is that hitler hello are you sure he is from among you you know what let me think about it maybe here among you is not what it sound like maybe it says like among you like this is a town name let's connect them together it sound chinese like among you you know among we among lulu among lee among among stupidity among madness among good um, i wonder among you ah, i forgot at that time of muhammad he thought he would be a prophet only for those abdul there he never thought he would have all those muslims now following him, right? Among you. The lie is not really, it's not working. It's not functioning. The story is not, is broken. I mean, everything here makes sense except among you now. <laughs> and the brother, the story will continue. 
Uh, by the way, there's a Muslim, he posted in the chat saying, if you have balls, you debate us face us to face. My friend, don't talk about balls. Your prophet, he did marry 13 women and his balls obviously not working. And there's a chapter in the Quran about his balls. Please leave my balls alone. Please leave my balls alone. You have a balls, debate us face to face. <laughs> what do you want to do? You want to come to my uh, bedroom? I am in bedroom. What the face to face? What do you want to do? What do you want to mean? What, what is your plan? What's your plan? Among, ah, you want to debate me among you? <laughs> Brother, they will ask him, who was, who was the man who was sent on a mission among you? The man will say, <laughs> Alas, <laughs> Alas, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> then a carrier will call from heaven. Carrier, what, what, what? And he will say, He lied, he lied, he lied. So spread the bed for him in hell. Clothe him from hell and open for him a door into hell. Commercial break. If you are looking to have a very, very, very experience with hell, I have my mother-in-law. She is really very good in that. She can help you to understand what hell is about. All what you need, marry my wife, which I get rid of her, and get my mother-in-law to be your mother-in-law. And then, brother, you will know what hell is exactly is about, brother. <laughs> what the heck is that, man? But here, there is something stupid in the story. Anyone notice what is stupid? Anyone notice, additional to all the stupidity? Hmm. Let us see who of you is super smart. Let us see who of you is... I mean, the whole story is stupid, don't take me wrong. But there is something... <laughs> oh, baby, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Anyone remember? Anyone remember? I wonder how, I wonder why. Judgment? Hmm. No. Anyone remember? Bed in hell? No. No. No, no, no. Okay. What is the first hadith I showed you in the screen? Do you remember? You see, always, this is how we can get a stupid man busted, additional to all the stupidity. The hadith we mentioned in the beginning, I mentioned it for a reason. It says that the main reason for the punishment of the grave is urine. Correct? But as we see in different Muhammad story, he did not mention even the urine. What happened to the urine? So from the main reason to suddenly disappear? <laughs> okay, so if we go brother to uh, what this is this is WW in Arabic? www.urination.islam We get all the answers we are looking for brother. Because all the problem is in your religion. But Muhammad the fool who cannot keep his mouth shut, he got himself busted in different story. Suddenly, in the other story, there is nothing about urination. 
But here he's saying the major reason, the mere reason, the mere cause of the punishment in the grave is urination. Since I did read this hadith, to be honest with you, I am not urinating no more. I'm using the method of vibration. No, uh, vibration. No, no, what is called it? Vib vib uh, vibrating. Vibrating. Like, you know, when your uh, liquid like vibrate. Huh? So I heat myself very much. And then the whole thing that go, like steam, you know, like it's a steam method. Safe and secure. For security. So how in the world this idiot, who Muslims call him prophet? And look, this is authentic. You cannot say this is not authentic. You can't say the other one is authentic and this one is authentic. So both of them are authentic, which means both of them is coming from the mouth of Muhammad. Maybe while, maybe he was while he was urinating. So how in the row, how, how in the world? Excuse my English. I I hope you understand my situation here. My English is not my first language. How in the world the two stories can be correct? As you see, the first question: Who is your Lord? What is your religion? Who is this man who sent among you? Really <laughs> old. Oof. This religion is something. We have we have to agree. I mean, we have to admit. We can even negotiate. This is why, by the way, the kuffar they refuse the prophet of Allah because he is super intelligent and he is truthful. And his stories are not opposing each other. Hmm. So the major reason for punishment of the grave is a pissing. And then Muhammad, second day, or a few weeks after he go to a different place attending a funeral and now he is talking about punishment of the grave and the story is one billion percent different hmm. and then brother the voice will come from heaven, from hell, from the sky. Will scream saying he's a liar. I see here the, the coordination between uh, the ones in heaven and the one down in earth. So there's two angels now with you in the grave. They set you up, they ask you the questions, but they are not the one who decide if he's liar or not. No, a voice will come from heaven, brother. <laughs> the voice will say, he's a liar, he's a liar. He's a liar, he's a liar. He, 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 he is a liar. Then a courier will call from heaven, said he lie, he has lied. So spread. Spread the bed for him from hell. Clothe him, clothe him from hell. And open, open for him a door into the hell. Then, some of, of its heat, some of what? The heat, heat of what? Of the hell. Wind will come to him, and his grave will be compressed, so that his ribs will be crushed together. Brother. Brother, get ready. You are now in hell, brother. And now your rep will be crushed. Brother. Hmm. You know, this is reminding me of something. Uh, I don't know. You tell me if it's correct. I mean, it sounds like this. <laughs> me. One more time. <laughs> That's hurt. <laughs> yeah, they are squeezing your uh, chest, brother. <laughs> and they crush your ribs. 
the difference between you and this toy that your the toy is a plastic so it's flexible but you are not flexible <laughs> oh boy unbelievable so brother and his grave will be compressed so that his ribs will be so okay hold on hold on this is a movable grave uh, did you understand what's happening look look okay now i have to use my art as you know i mean what i can do so now this is the grave hmm? this is the how oh, oh, i'm going to draw, draw the grave this needs some skills hold on so this is the grave huh this is the grave of the guy he's in the grave now and then they put him here i will put his head here this is his head huh? he's in the grave and now brother the grave walls will get a closer against his body from both sides brother and they will squeeze him squeeze 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 and then they keep squeezing keep squeezing keep squeezing until you are being squeezed brother I don't know about the situation I am single but I think the married one of you can describe it better than me <laughs> unbelievable anyone want uh, some uh, 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 what they call it cocoa cocoa chocolate cocoa uh, today I got some cocoa you know I'm, I'm sick of tea and coffee just for a change it's hurting my throat okay so you are now in the grave and the grave is closing more and more and more and more and now you can't breathe but the guy is dead I mean Muhammad the guy is dead what do you mean a crush is perhaps and what do you mean by a tear? what is that man and then brother we have to continue because what will happen next is more horrible way more horrible focus with me please and then jabber version added version how many version you have one who is a blind and dump will then be placed in charge of him if, 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 one is blind and dump will be charged on him hold on hold on we have to stop here i mean somebody in charge of me i understand but he's a blind and dumb. Who is that one? We can find the answer in the Quran, brother. And you will not believe, brother. Who is this one, brother? <clears throat> Anyone knows who is the one who will be in charge of you in the grave? <laughs> <laughs> according to Muhammad in chapter 20 verse number 124 he said that the one who refused to believe in me we will narrow his life down and then we will squeeze him and we will raise him up in the day of judgment blind but you know what this is very confusing i'm going to read the interpretation for you because if i give you my own interpretation is not accepted i am not a muslim I'm not uh, ultimate fart or Fifi or Muimi Hijab. <laughs> oh, they have all the answers. Let us go, brother, and find the correct answer for this verse. Hold on. 
What will happen to us, brother, when we are in the grave? This guy, he did not believe in Allah. Allah will get him blind. Hmm. All right. Let us see the interpretation. <clears throat> this website is not open as usual. Give me a second. Why, why, why this is happening? Why? Because you did not see inshallah. Isn't it obvious? <laughs> okay. Let us see another website. <clears throat> This is Ibn Kathir. It says, meaning that his life will be hard in this world. Man. The owner of the Playboy Mansion, his, half, his life was really hard. Hmm. The Kuffar in America, their life is hard, and the Muslims in Somalia, their life is easy. Hmm. Yeah. That's why the Muslims, all of them, they want to go to Europe. Okay. And he will have no tranquility. Look at this tranquility, brother. Tranquility alone is different. No expanding of his breast. Oh. Leave my breast alone. Rather, his chest will be constrict, constrained and in difficult due to misguidedness. Even if he appears to be in comfort. Ah. So he appeared in comfort, but he's not. <laughs> Eat whatever he like, live whatever he want, he will not be happy. But the Quran says that Muhammad was not happy. All the Quran is about Muhammad not being happy. And Allah is not happy. So must be he must be kafir too. For verily, his heart will not have a pure certainty and guidance. I, Muslims have certainty for sure. And then he says, And we shall raise him up blind on the day of resurrection. Question, Muslims, questions. I mean, here, your, your prophet Muhammad is making a poo-poo. If the guy is a blind, he will not see the horror. So what's the point of making him blind? <laughs> I have only, only one friend, he don't get scared when he see me, he's blind, you know. He said to me, to me always, you sound nice. He don't know how I look like. If he can see me, he will run away. So why you want to make him blind? Don't you want to show him the fire of hell? Don't you want to show him the dragons who will go inside the anus of the Muhammadan? Anyone knows, guy, by the way, how many dragons will go inside the anus? Who remember? Let us see. Who remember? Anyone remember? Nobody remember? If, 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 if. Nobody remember? Man. <clears throat> the education is not working no more. <laughs> <sighs> we will talk about it. Just wait. <sighs> oh. 
I mean, what we can do? Seriously, what we can do? This religion, because it's a stupid to the point, uh, it has tons of stories, and all of them they are in total chaos. As an example, as now we are talking about the punch of the grave. I don't see here in the Mika Theater in English they mention anything about it. So we have to find it in different place. According to the to Muhammad, that when you are in the grave, Allah will send against you ninety nine dragons. Let me let me find the hadith. Hold on, give me a second because the Muhammad and they will say this is a, this is a lie. <clears throat> All right. Me. We found the hadith. Actually, we found it in a fatwa, which is even, even better. Fatwa, I mean, uh, confirmation, you know. And this is Sahih Hassan. This is the website, islamweb.net. So you cannot say this is a Christian prince, fabrication, a Christian prince, education. I have nothing to do with it. Hmm? When your God Allah in the Quran mission, it says, Atadarona ma al ma'isha donk. Do you know what this is like? Horrible life will be? Fatwa number 36233. I'm going to uh, click translate it from Arabic to English so all of you can read together. All right. Do you know what is the hard living? Uh, is that a good hadith? So the question is, is this hadith is accepted? The answer, yes, brother. The answer, yes. Praise be to Allah and may blessing and peace upon the Prophet. Doesn't say pay a blessing or peace. Says Allah, may Allah pray on him and salute him and, uh, and his family and his companion now. And the blah, 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 okay, and then he says the hadith. It says, and in be, the believer in his grave, his reward in his grave will come him to 70 cubit and enlightens him like a moon in full night, moon night. So when the Muslim he entered the brain, it's already the grave, Allah will give him, will make him live in a grave is 70 cubic wide. If, 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 if. That's a big bedroom. And Allah, He will make His grave like a shul, full moon light. However, brother, the verse revealed about the hard life of the kafar. It says, In the day of resurrection, He is going to be blind. Do you know what a hard life will be? They said, Allah and his messenger know best. Who is saying that? Muhammad, as usual. Muhammad saying, do you know what this verse means? That his life would be really hard? They said Allah and his messenger know best, as usual. Muhammad is God. He said, the torment, the torment of the unbeliever in the grave, which I myself have in his hand, he's swearing by Allah now, that his, his what? His what? Translation is not good. Allah will unleash on him 99 dragons. 99 what? What? 99 dragons are in my grave. 99 dragons in my microwave. 99 dragons in my small grave. 99 dragons. They are going to bite me. <laughs> Do you know? 
what a dragon is Muhammad now is given as definition definition for a dragon every one of those dragon have 99 head and every of a snake sorry 99 head of a snake and every snake have seven heads hold on hold on, hold on. <laughs> let me get my calculation in here <laughs> that's fantastic brother that's so good to be true brother I mean how Muhammad knew all of this he's a prophet I mean prophet only knew those stuff and by the way here in the hadith it doesn't say they are going to bite him where but in different stories it says that they will go and search inside your anus uh, <clears throat> let us see if we have 99 dragon 99 and then each one of them is uh, no sorry every dragon is 99 snake okay every dragon is 99 snake and every snake of those snakes have seven heads so 99 x 7 693 snakes this is one dragon as long as we have 99 so we have to x to 99 x 99 dragon 68,607 snakes with you in the grave brother don't you think the number of brother is so small brother all of those in this small grave 68,607 uh, uh, 68,000 huh? 607 snakes all of them inside the grave with you and all of them they want to go inside your anus I'm really 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 terrified hmm. <clears throat> all right and is this hadith is is authentic yes brother it says here the translation of the hadith is good and it is good you see translation here is not too much accurate translate the, the 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 hadith is authentic so muslim cannot say ah this is a fabrication because the whole story here is is this hadith is good is this hadith is good yes the hadith is good so now look what happened the liar muhammad each day he changes his, his story once there is a three angel two angels once they have a hammer with them once there's a dragons once there is a spider once there's a scorpion depend on the story depend on muhammad mood hmm. so now what we will do with the urine Hmm? What we will do with the urine now? Forget about the urine, man. Continue the story. The story is amazing, brother. You know, Muhammad always, because he's a thief. He is an official thief. In one of the hadith speaking about this, he even make a, a, a Quran, he fabricate a Quran. And he is copying as usual many times. He copy what Jesus said. Anyone remember that Jesus said something about how the camel can go inside the eye of the needle? Do you remember? 
Do you know that Muhammad the thief, when he was speaking about the punishment of the grave, he mentioned this in the Quran? Do you know? Does it sound f uh, 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 familiar to you? <laughs> Do you see the thief? Do you see the coward? Do you see the fraud? Fraud. The fraud prophet. <clears throat> oh. Each time Muhammad. He tried to speak about something, he copied somebody. Even those stories, the funny and the one who sounds serious. He always copies somebody. In this case, Muhammad the thief, he is copying Jesus. And there's many verses, by the way, in the Quran. Muhammad copying Jesus word by word. which can be found in Matthew 19. I see that my connection is coming down, so I better maybe uh, finish it fast. I see I have a bad connection here. I'm afraid I will lose connection as what happened in the morning. So my friends, my family, Christians and Muslims who they hate me, there's no way this man, he can be a prophet of God. He is a thief. He is a fraud. Even the hadith about the urine, he started from the Jews. Muhammad, he never mentioned that there is something called the punishment of the grave. Until a Jewish woman, she came to Aisha and she mentioned that, as you see in the screen. And not only that, Aisha, she accused her that she's a liar. Why? Because she never heard this before from Muhammad. She lived with him 24 hours, 7 days a week. She never heard her child molester husband saying that there is a punishment in the grave for those who do urinate she said to her you are a liar it doesn't say so cp the jewish women she said to her no i am not lying it's true and then muhammad he came as you see this is story or mission by muslims he came from his room and he heard them fighting or arguing. He said to her, what is the problem? She said to him, this woman, she is saying that there is a punishment in the grave. He said, this is true. This is a true. And not only that, Aisha, she said, after that day, she never heard Muhammad praying without saying, we seek refuge from the torment of the grave. Muhammad never mentioned it all his life until a Jewish woman mentioned it. Do you see it? Who is saying that? Aisha. Read carefully. After that, I never saw Allah Messenger but seeking refuge with Allah from the punishment in the grave in every prayer he prayed before that he never mentioned it so what happened now because the jewish woman she mentioned it isn't it obvious my internet these days is not getting good so i want to apologize i'm not going to stay longer i just wanted to share some good time with the family I love you all and I hope our education 
is always uh, received please download the videos and always if you want to find any reference I give you it's very easy you can just imagine yourself copying from the screen you can freeze the screen stop the video and then copy a line and then paste it in the search engine and you will find the hadith the reference all right so there is no need to email me and ask me for reference it's very easy copy a line like here it says uh, Aisha said that Jews came to her and mentioned the punishment of the grave. Copy this line, post it in Google, you will find it. You can stop the screen, type the, 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 the line in Google, and you will find the reference. Anything I mention, especially as long as it's in English, there's no need for you to be, I mean, it's not going to be hard because it's in English. In Arabic, I understand you don't know Arabic. All right? So I want to say thank you. I'm not going to stay longer. I see my internet is coming up and down. Look like uh, it's getting ugly. Uh, please remember that always liars, they get themselves busted. They do not need somebody else to get them busted. But always the problem is that we do not connect the dots together in order to find what is the problem. Like now what we did today. We showed you that Muhammad, he claimed that the main reason for punishment in the grave is urine. Is what? Is urine. And then Muhammad, he mentioned stories about punishment in the grave and urine it never mentioned. So one of them must be true and the other one must be false. However, both of them proven to be false because they are coming from the same source. One person, two stories, obviously both of them they are false. Because if he lie in the first one, he lie in the second one. And this is something he learned from the Jews. Where Muhammad he learned that urine will cause you a problem. Read it. It's in the front of you. And this is Sahih. A Jewish woman entered unto me and said, The torment of the grave because of urine. I said, You're lying. What she said, you're lying. Aisha she did not say. Oh, I'm not sure. She didn't say it doesn't make sense. She said you are lying, which means she is sure that this is going to be true. She said, no, the Jewish women, it's true. We cut our skin and clothed it because of it. The messenger of Allah went out and pray to pray, and he heard the voice of, of them loud. So he said, what is this? So she told him, he said, she is right. She is telling the truth. And after that, he never mentioned a prayer without seeking Allah, refuge from Allah. The God of Mikael and Israfil grant me refuge from the heat of the fire and the torment of the grave. Isn't it obvious that Muhammad is a fraud? He is. He is not only a fraud, he is a stupid fraud master. Easy to get bust. Muhammad, it's hard to get bust if you are stupid as simple as that i cannot say more literally you have to be stupid to believe in muhammad if those evidence which is authentic according to muslims are not enough to prove that muhammad is a fraud if a fool like muhammad can fool you how fool are you do you understand me if a fool like Muhammad can fool you. How fool are you? Thank God I'm not a fool. Christ is my Lord, the Lord of wisdom. Go and read his words in the gospel. Amazing, beautiful, deep. Can touch the heart of a farmer who do not know how to read, how to write, and can make a person who have high education enjoy it. Both they enjoy it. All they enjoy it. It live with you. It mentioned 2,000 years ago, but yet every story of our Lord's stories, which is coming to us as parables, live with us, present our life today and our problems today. For this is the living word of God, not a stupid fool. Just because of a Jewish woman, she mentioned something to him. 
he copied it because he believed the Jews, they know what they are talking about. Whatever the Jews says, they must be knowing what they are talking about. So we copy them. This is who is the thief Muhammad. While the Messiah was correcting the Jews, rebuking the Jews, showing them they are wrong, Muhammad was copying them blindly, for he is a fraud. Flying carpet of Suleiman. The ant speaking to Suleiman. The bird of Suleiman who find him a woman. Suleiman who die in the chair, standing sorry, and he have a stick in his hand and nobody noticed that he is dead for a year. The Jews is what we copy from, we Muslims. Yet we claim to be Muslims, but all those stories are kids' story, legions of the Jews. Muhammad, he add them in his funny book, and he got himself busted. I'm very thankful for this woman who came to the house of Muhammad, and she made this fool copy her, for she helped us to understand better how a fraud Muhammad is. Thank you everybody for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you tomorrow. God is willing. Maybe tomorrow. If not, maybe the day after. Don't forget to subscribe. Join us always. Invite your friends. And download my videos. They are for free for everybody. I don't care where you post them. But just don't lie and claim them that those are yours. Alright? Otherwise, Allah will put you in the grave. And he will squeeze you. I forgot. <laughs> this is not the reason to be squeezed. It is urine. Just watch your urine and you will be fine. Happy urine day, Muhammad. Happy urine day. Protect yourself from urine and you will be safe. Urine is the problem. Thank you, everyone. Christ is Lord. Islam is a false cult made by a madman. His name is Muhammad. See ya. Bye-bye.